Now, as many of you may or may not know, I hardly ever look at the news, and I use the term incredibly lightly, paper, that is the Daily Mirror. However, every now and then, I do look at what the self-appointed Fleet Street Fox has to say. This week, it penned an article called What Do We Get If We Vote UKIP? Which is just full of so much nonsense and disinformation, it isn't even funny. In this article, it does its best to roll out the tired old 3.4 million jobs will be lost if we leave the EU, blah 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 blah. An argument that has been debunked more than the Oswald acted alone conspiracy. The fox then dribbles on about how evil UKIP will be and clearly shows that it's either a blue or a red fox, and certainly not purple. Can you get purple and blue foxes? I'm not sure. Probably with today's genetic splicing, I bet they're on their way. But there is a massive elephant in the Fleet Street Fox's article writing room that it will not talk about. And that is that at the moment, the way the establishment politicians are thought of in this country, UKIP could say that the firstborn male in every family has to have their left bollock removed and sold as payment against the deficit, and people would still flock to UKIP. The elephant, my dear old stoty fox, sly old stoty fleet street fox, is this. Nobody much cares at the moment about UKIP's policies, UKIP have become a none-of-the-above vote, not a protest vote, something much, much more. They were a protest vote, but not anymore. People have simply had it with corrupt establishment career MPs, and they can see the potential through UKIP to get rid of them. We've had enough of establishment MPs lining their own pockets through expenses, backhanded business deals and 11% pay rises and when they get caught nobody gets in trouble. Talk about one rule for them. We've had enough of politicians stealing from us. Enough of them selling our country's assets to their friends at knockdown prices. We've had enough of the lies and broken promises. The cash for questions. We've had enough of them making hundreds of thousands personally, through selling their houses, which we funded. We've had enough of MPs never answering a fucking question properly. It's embarrassing trying to watch them avoid answering. Do they not realise that although they might think they're really clever by avoiding the question, the public's despise for them goes up a notch every time they fail to answer a fucking question. We've had enough. We want straight-talking MPs, and you simply do not get that from the Tories, Labour, or the Liberal fucking plebocrats. So, little stoty fox, you and almost everybody else in the mainstream media cannot see what the general public can see. It's not about you, Kip. It's not about Nigel Farage. It's about removing the establishment MPs by any fucking means possible. And at the moment, the vehicle for this happens to be UKIP. If there was a none of the above on the ballot paper, then this would be polling at about 40%. This is why people are turning off from the mainstream media. I think that a shitstorm is coming to save the establishment. That's all they've got. That's the only chance they have. Is that shitstorm an ISIS attack? Is it allowing Ebola into this country? I don't know. But what I do know is that if you're bored in this life with everything that's going on, well, there is something very, very wrong with you, and I feel sorry for you. Life begins the moment you leave your comfort zone. Fight them. Fight them hard. We are coming.